All right, here we are in step number seven of seven steps to quitting your job in one to three years. And that is to leverage the law of the first deal to achieve permanent financial freedom. The law of the first deal is a curious and amazing phenomenon that helps you achieve permanent financial freedom. Because remember, it states that the first multifamily deal of any size results in financial freedom within one to three years. It's magical. Nothing compares to the power it has to make you permanently financial free. And if it's done with a multifamily property of any size, including even a duplex. This is the last of seven steps to achieving financial freedom and quitting your job. Now this last step in the financial freedom blueprint is the easiest because it happens nearly automatically after you do your first deal. In fact, you'd have to work extra hard not to do the second deal. That's true. All you have to do is receive, receive the gift of the law of the first deal and just let it happen. Now you're literally about a year away from replacing your income and quitting your job, which is awesome. Now I want to explain why and how the law of the first deal works. Because once you see how the law works, I'll show you how to estimate how many units you need and how long it will take you to achieve financial freedom. Let's get into it right now. Well, hey there, welcome to the ultimate guide to financial freedom with real estate investing. This whole course is here on my channel. My name is Michael Blanc. I'm a full-time entrepreneur, investor, and coach, and I'm passionate about helping others become financial free in one to three years by investing in real estate. Through our investment company, Nighthawk Equity, I control over $300 million of real estate, and I've helped students acquire over 14,000 units at a time of this recording. So slam that subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any part of this video course. <music> reasons the law of the first deal it works. So here are five reasons the law of the first deal works and why the first deal is so powerful on your journey to financial freedom. Number one, you now have a track record. Because once you do your first deal, you now have a track record, obviously. And a track record is huge, even if it's largely, you know, psychological. Because before your team had a track record, but now you personally have a track record. A track record gives you confidence and this shines through when you speak with brokers and investors. It also qualifies you for certain loans as you do bigger and bigger deals. So track record and experience is important. Important. Number two, you have investors. Because to do your first deal, you likely had to have some investors. Maybe you do, hopefully you do. Once you have a handful of investors, it's much easier to get more. Also, your investors talk to their friends and they give you even more investors as the word of mouth spreads. Investors beget more investors. Number three, you have a pipeline of deals. When you first got started, you didn't have a single broker feeding you deals. By the time you do your first deal, you're gonna have a network of brokers and you're working a sizable pipeline. And now, now brokers know you've done a deal, word spreads fast that you're a performer. You're a closer. In fact, it's not uncommon for you to have your second deal under contract by the time you close your first. Number four, you have a team on the ground ready to go. And you didn't have that before. You now have a property manager in place. You have a good commercial broker, a lender. You have a real estate attorney. Your team has been through one deal together and they're poised to do the second deal easily and quickly. And number five, your confidence and comfort zone have expanded significantly. All of this affects everything. It expands your mind to consider larger deals. Your brokers don't ask you for your track record. Your investors are eager to meet with you and invest on your next deal. And the more you educate yourself, the more you practice, and the more you push farther into deals will affect how quickly your confidence and comfort zone expands. Joseph Goslin, a case study. So I shared the story of Joseph Goslin with you earlier in this course, and it's a perfect example to illustrate this particular idea about the law of the first deal. In the beginning, Joseph really struggled because brokers were simply not returning his phone calls, and he wasn't getting good deal flow. By his own admission, he didn't get the proper training to avoid this, but it's an example of how it can be a challenge early on. It took Joseph to two years to finally close his first multifamily deal and it was a 22 unit. And then an amazing thing happened. Within just six months, he closed on 102 units. Why? Well, when he got started, he didn't have a track record. Investors, brokers, or a team in place or any of that. His confidence was a bit shaky and his comfort zone was very limited. And that's why it took him so long to do the first deal. And that's also why his first deal was the smallest. It also explains why his second deal followed in rapid, almost automatic succession. By the time he closed his 22 unit, he had a track record, which means brokers returned his phone calls. There were calls calling him, he had a pipeline of deals and investors and his confidence was sky high. Because the magical thing after your first deal is that you're gonna be a magnet for more deals and for money. It is truly an amazing phenomenon to behold. All right, now that we know why the law of the first deal works, let's examine how it works. Because once you understand that, the progression, you can now determine how many units you might need and how long it takes. So here's how you can estimate the number of units you need to cover your living expenses and approximately how long it will take based on the law of the first deal. But first, if you're enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. The first step is to determine the average income per unit, which is how much cash each unit will produce every month on average over the life of the investment. And the way to do that is to take your financial analyzer, presumably the syndicated deal analyzer, and calculate your compensation from your share of the cash flow distributions, the acquisition fees, the asset management fees, and any kind of profits from resale. Now here's an actual example from a 69 unit deal in Memphis that we closed together with a student. Now the income is a bit lumpy because in the first year is a $69,000 acquisition fee. And that 
that increases the income per unit in year one. Now, similar in year five, the income per unit is much higher because we get a profit from the sale as well as a 1% capital transaction fee. Now, the average income per unit over the five year period is right around $100. So this example assumes that you own 100% of the general partnership, but maybe you brought the deal to an experienced syndicator and you gave up 70% of the deal and your partner raised all the money. And maybe you did a 50-50 split in your second deal and you did the third deal all by yourself. Let's assume for easy math that the average income per unit for the first three deals is $75. Step number two is to determine how many units you need. So continue our example from earlier. Let's assume your rat race number is $75 per month in passive income. Now our projected average income per unit is $75, which means we would need to control about 100 units to achieve your rat race number. Now let's figure out how long this might take. Step number three, determine how long it will take. For the third step, we're gonna try to figure out how long this is gonna take. To answer that question, it's helpful to understand the progression of deal size and timeline associated with the law of the first deal. So let's revisit how long it took some of the entrepreneurs I introduced earlier to replace their income with apartment buildings. All right, the first one we talked about is Drew Niffin. New Year's Eve, he decides to pursue multifamily strategy. Three months later, does a three unit. One month after that, four unit. Two months after that, 32 units. And then six months, he waits to make sure income is consistent and stops working for W-2 job. Total lapse time, 12 months. Let's talk about Brad Tasha. You remember him? January, he decides to pursue multifamily strategy. 12 months later, he closes his first 12 unit deal. Five months after that, 12 units. Four months after that, 63 unit, replaces income, quits job. Total lapse time, just under two years. Tyler Chef, day one, he decides to pursue multifamily strategy, take leave of absence from the job. Six months later, he moves into a fourplex with his family. Three months after that, 10 unit. Three months after that, 12 units, and replaces income. Total lapse time, 12 months. All right, one more here. Joseph Goslin, we talked about him. He decides to pursue a multifamily strategy. That was back when he was writing $40,000 check for his duplex. Plus two years, took him a long time. 22 units plus six months, he closes on 102 unit, replaces his income. And that was a total lapse time of two and a half years. Common timeline for financial freedom. So for many interviews with entrepreneurs who became financially free with apartment buildings, here is the typical timeline I see with the law of the first deal over and over again. So the first deal typically is in the first year. So let's say three to 18 months from the time that you decide to pursue multifamily investing. Then the second deal typically happens within the next six months and the third deal within the next six months. So the typical elapsed time is somewhere between one to three years. Now here's the progression of deal size that are observed with the law of the first deal. So let's say I almost start in the beginning with a duplex. So if you start in the beginning of duplex, it's two units, 10 units, 30 units, 50 units, and then 100 plus. Now if you're getting excited right now and you wanna get serious about, you wanna get into this business and you're looking for some help with this, then book a call with us. We're at the michaelblank.com forward slash call. Set up a call with us. We have a variety of programs from do-it-yourself online courses to working one-on-one -on -one with a mentor. I like to say for something for everyone, just check it out at themichaelblank.com forward slash call. Have a conversation with us about how we can help you succeed. All right, step number four is to determine the size of your first deal. And we wanna get the appropriate entry point into that progression. Remember, we started with two units, 10 units, and so forth. What is appropriate for you? Now, we completed this exercise in the pre-launch sequence, if you remember, where we talked about clarifying your first deal earlier in this course, in which we determined the size of the first deal so that it is both meaningful and achievable. Now, in most cases, the size of the first deal depends on your goals and your personal circumstances in regards to your ability to raise money, the money you have, the people you know. Now, I found that people who need to cover $10,000 per month in living expenses tend to have some of their own financial resources and know other people with money as well. Now, for them, that's you, then picking a duplex as a first deal might be highly achievable. You can go out and buy one tomorrow, but not really as meaningful as it should be. On the other hand, if your rat race number is $4,000 a month, then getting started with a duplex might make a lot of sense. So back to our example, if your goal is to generate $7,500 a monthly passive income, quit your job, and we just determined that you need about 100 units to do so, a good entry point might be to get started with, say, a 10 unit building. So according to the law of the first deal, once you decide that's what you're gonna do, then you'll do that first deal sometime in the next three to 18 months, let's say in the first year, and then it's gonna be followed by a 30 unit and a 50 unit in the second year. So that means that after that three deals, you're gonna have roughly about 100 units, each generating an average of $75 per month in income for you. And at that point, you're financially free and you have options. Now remember that this plan could actually be accelerated more because of the lumpy aspect that we're talking about, the acquisition fees, okay? The acquisition fees can get you out of the rat race much faster because they're disproportionately higher than the average $75 per month. This is why you see some people quitting their job at 30 units or even 50 units because of the acquisition fees and the pipeline that you see forming. So this is really the power of this. It's not 50 houses, it's two, three deals. Because at that point, you're financially free because of the acquisition fees, the, the passive income and the pipeline, and you have options. And it becomes very exciting, right? You can continue working if you want to. Many people do, but they're working now for themselves under their own terms, right? Or you can quit your job or whatever 
you want to do. You could stop doing deals at one point or you can keep buying properties and leave a legacy. The point is you now control your time and what you want to do with it. Now, I already hear you saying, Michael, this is fantastic. This financial freedom blueprint is awesome. I can clearly see what I need to do to become financial free. But one thing, Michael, it could take 18 months to do my first deal. Really? That's a really long time. Isn't there a way to do it faster? Oh my goodness. Okay. There is. There is actually. But before I tell you what it is, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss the next video in this course where I explain the strategy you can follow for even faster results. Now, let me know your thoughts right now because we're going to end it right now. It's a good stopping point. Let me thoughts or questions in below and maybe even book a call with us at michaelbunt.com forward slash call if you're looking for more resources and help. I'll see you in the next video about how you might be able to accelerate that timeline.